a circuit breaker. A very, very sad circuit breaker. And this was sent some considerable time ago by Thomas Nagy. Uh, Thomas Nagy or Thomas Nagy, I can never remember. I shall put a link to his channel down below. Um, it turns out he sent a box of stuff through a while back. And because of uh, situations, it ended up under another box and another box. So I recently found it and it's full of goodies. My, my apologies to Thomas for not taking a look at these earlier because there's some interesting stuff in there. But anyway... I digress almost. Let's uh, open this up and see if we can diagnose what happens, uh, what happened here. Because I'm wondering if it was a bad connection here, or if it's because uh, Thomas was saying that uh, an awful lot of heaters were plugged into it. So let's open it up. So I'm going to pause momentarily while I just drill out the rivets, and then once I've drilled them, got them clear, I'll be back to actually lift the cover off. One moment, please. That should be the rivets drilled out. Let's get down a bit closer here so we can get in on the action and start prizing this apart. This will almost certainly, all the bits will pop out as soon as it open it. That's what happens with these things. Is it going to prize apart? It might actually be fused together with heat. Uh, the rivets are, I think the rivets are more or less out. I will find out. I'll keep, keep prizing at this and levering at it and trying to get it open. I think it may actually be fused together with heat. I think it may actually have melted into a puddle. That's okay. It's perfectly acceptable given what's happened to it. Yeah, it's, it's crunchy. It's very crunchy. That's fine. What about if I use my long nose pliers and I just apply it in here? Yeah, that is not really wanting to come apart. That is kind of fused together. What about if I stick it in here? Yeah, it's it's melted together. This is pretty obvious that it's melted together. It's not happy at all. Have I got that rivet out completely there? Is that uh, what's holding it together? Or is it just the smoke that's holding it together? I shall prize in here. Hmm, this is not opening very easily. Let's see if I can stab my hand in the process. Have I actually got that rivet out? Hold on, I'm just going to give that another drill. Yeah, I'd say that was out. I would say that was out. I fear it may actually be stuck together with enthusiastic incineration. Let's try this again. This is basically, I'm a, I'd be a rubbish forensic expert here because uh, everything would be destroyed by now. Oh, it really is, it's melted together. I may have to pause while I uh, open this up. Oh, there's crunchy bits and uh huh, uh, uh huh. <laughs> oh, this isn't going well. I guess really I've not taken many breakers apart that are this cremated. This is burnt. This is absolutely smoked inside. This is why it's not parting. Yeah, that is absolutely fused together inside. It has melted. Oh, oh, it's charred. Very charred. Oh, my. Uh, right. Uh, I'll just keep prizing. I'll just keep prizing. You could always skip forward yourself if, uh, if this is taking too long, which is kind of taking too long. Oh, blimey. I can't believe how knackered this is. This is just absolutely fused. Well, it is a circuit breaker. Yeah, the plastic is absolutely charred and melted in. Well, that's awkward. Oh, it's just black inside. As indicated by clues from the outside. Oh, right. I think that's it more or less opening... Yeah, that's that's messy. My forensic creden credentials have been destroyed. Oh, it's black. Even the coil down here, the current sensing coil is black. The bimetallic strip is black. Everything is black. I'm doubting then that it's just been a bad connection. It looks as though this thing has been experiencing absolutely humongous current. Let's try and get this out and take a look at it. 
Oh, sooty. So this is the bimetallic strip. It's a heater. And uh, normally it would heat up to actually, and then it would flex and that would trip it. But in this instance, it doesn't look like it's successfully tripped. Let's get this out and see if we can uh, see any clues. The screw has been clamped. It's hard to say. I would say the wire has been clamped in there decently, but I don't see excessive burning around here. I see the heat that's traveled up from the bimetallic strip. There's the arc quenching arrangement. Couldn't do much about this though. It is pretty much the full current path. The contacts there look relatively intact. Here's the arc shoot guide. It is very sooty. Oh, that looks like it's been a... Uh, I wonder if that's been closed repeatedly into a fault until it's welded. And then the current has just continued to flow. Because it's unusual to see the, the magnetic coil here is black. It's actually all the lacquer in these windings is cracked. And that shows uh, that a lot of current has flowed through that. That is impressive. Very impressive. I do get the feeling that this is just somehow welded. Because uh, that contact is pretty crusty there. Let's see if we can get that out. The whole lot's just going to ping apart now. Because uh, if it comes out, it's it may still be welded in. Yeah, see the plastic at the back? This has melted all around that assembly. How has that affected the uh, plunger? The plunger is still plunging. It's still going up and down. But, oh, you know what? The little trip mechanism here has melted away from that. Not sure what that would normally look like, but it's not supposed to look like this. This has gone very, very squishy. Uh, I shall try and prise that up, but I don't think I'd be able to get this out because it is so utterly stuck in. I'll just use unreasonable force. That might be the best bet. Oh, that worked. The contact is black. Um, what have we got here? It's so pitted and burnt. That looks as though it may have been repeatedly reset into a fault until maybe the point it actually welded shut. And then they just kept panning the current on until the thing smoked. It does actually look like it's just been abused to death. That so much current has been run through this that it's failed. It's uh, it's been it's probably been tripping repeatedly with that high load um, until the it uh, it welded like that, and then it just carried the high load until uh, everything just basically kind of melted. Well, that's kind of interesting. I've never seen one quite as bad as this. That's good. That's very impressive. So uh, once again, thanks to Thomas Nagy for uh, sending this. I shall put a link to his channel down below. And I'll put a link to his channel right up there. Um, and uh, yes, I'll have to dig through that box he sent because there's other stuff in it that's very interesting and well worth taking a look. So once again, thanks to Thomas. Uh, let's explore more of this stuff. But in the meantime, this was good. This was very interesting. That was super smoky.